Hi guys, this is Riley T1Deer here. Welcome back and today we're going to be talking about the difference between type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. So let's get right into the video. So in a nutshell, type 1 diabetes is a autoimmune disease whereas type 2 diabetes is something that's caused by lifestyle choices that you make so let's dive deeper quite often people may talk about diabetes as one condition and may say things like if you eat that you you'll get diabetes when it's simply not true because if you eat a donut you're not going to just suddenly get type 1 diabetes, are you? But I guess the reason behind that is because of the stats. So if you imagine you've got a bar, it says 100, that bar is filled up 90% of the way because of type 2 diabetics. Only 8% of that bar is type 1 diabetic and the other 2 is just those weird diabetics that we don't know what they are. So we're going to have a look at that in another video. So I guess we need to explain how we get diabetes. So for us type 1 diabetics, it's caused by our immune system attacking the cells in our pancreas and it's attacking the cells that create the insulin. And because of that, that's why we've got to inject the insulin because the pancreas don't work. And as well as that, we don't actually know why this happens, but scientists believe it's something to, it's like genetic. So let's go on and explain what type 2 diabetes is caused by. So for type 2 diabetics, it's caused by lifestyle choices. So like what you eat. So instead of eating healthy foods, you eat crisps and stuff. And if you eat crisps, they've got carbs in. Carbs is sugar. So you're eating sugar. Then what's happening is, is because you're constantly eating that sugar and stuff, in, you're constantly pumping out insulin and because of that you become insulin resistant and then because of that fat starts building up in like in your belly and stuff so it starts building around your pancreas and stopping insulin from getting through and that's why your pancreas well it will produce insulin but it won't go through because of the fat and that's why you become a type 2 diabetic Let's talk about the differences when you're being diagnosed. So for type 1s, it's mainly, you're mainly diagnosed when you it's childhood. Whereas for type 2s, you're diagnosed mainly over 30. You're diagnosed with type 1 diabetes as well. You're also, what's the word? You, you, it's not because you've eaten much. It, you're actually skinnier than like you would be because of ketones and if you type 1 you'll know what ketones are it's where you high blood sugars and you're peeing out your fat so that's why you be skinny whereas for type 2s when they're diagnosed they are diagnosed because they're, they've just made unhealthy lifestyle choices and the pancreas just isn't working because of the fat stored in the belly built that much around the pancreas it's just stopped working so they mainly treat that at first with tablets but when more often though when you're diagnosed with type 1 diabetes it's because you've got ketones in your urine whereas for type 2s you, you when you're diagnosed with it you've had, you've got high blood pressure and high cholesterol levels and that is the reason for type 2. For type 1s you can only treat it with insulin. You cannot manage it whatsoever without insulin because insulin you have to inject it to make your blood stable. Whereas for type 2 you can actually if you make good lifestyle changes you can reverse it and all that type 2 Go away. An easy way to explain it to you is you've got the key to your pancreas. For type 1s, it's gone. You've chucked it down a sewer, it's gone. You can't find it. Whereas for type 2s, it's broken. Still there, still works a little. 
and you can fix it. That's why you can reverse type 2. So there. That's explained for dummies.